Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here, and I have another neat quadcopter for you today. This is the JJ Pro P130 Battler. Look at this little thing. This is quadcopter, or this is actually a racer quadcopter, as you can see, but it's actually smaller than, say, a uh, C Max 5C. But don't be fooled by that, though. These uh, motors can ding you up. These powerful brushless motors are not X5C motors. Um, let's go over the Battler from the front to the back. First off, Notice this camera it's got on here, this FPV camera. It's one of these all-in-one micro FPV cameras that we're seeing re uh, cropping up recently. Uh, it makes it very simple to install an FPV camera to a quadcopter such as this one here. Uh, but the, the camera and the uh, transmitter, FPV transmitter system, are all built all-in-one. Um, it comes with an 800 TVL camera, which ain't too shabby, uh, but its transmitter is only 25 milliwatt. This is a 25 milliwatt FPV transmitter, so uh, don't fly too far with this or, uh, via FPV or you will over reception. But this isn't meant to be flown very far. This is a tiny little, um, almost a micro-sized uh, FPV quadcopter. It's actually mini-sized, I guess you'd call this. Uh, FPV quadcopter, so uh, it's meant for actually close in flying, uh, but we'll, we'll demonstrate that here shortly. Let's go over the uh, motors. Uh, they are uh, JJ Pro 1806 2300 kV motors, so 2300 uh, uh, RPM per voltage motors. These should give a pretty pretty good power. However, the power is limit limited to these motors by the this has only has 12 amp ESCs is what I'm trying to say here, folks. So um, that is limit that should potentially limit the amount of power that you're going to see here with only 20 12 amp ESC. So we we might not see the the amount of power that we see on larger uh, quadcopters. Is another thing I'm trying to say here because of that. Um, it has a NASE 32 board on it. Uh, however, the NASE 32 is hooked up via PWM pulse width modulation. Uh, what does that mean? It means there's a lot of things that need to be connected uh, to a receiver. And with that in mind, this is the ARF version, the almost ready to fly version, which does not come with a receiver. So I hooked my own receiver in there. I've got a cheap uh, I6 uh, R6B receiver for uh, Ishin, not Ishin, what am I trying to say? FlySky transmitters, FlySky I6 transmitters, which I have a heck of a lot of. So, and I got a heck of a lot of these little um, receivers for them just in case so I what I'm this makes it somewhat being PWM there is a little bit of uh, pain to hook up the receiver to that because there's a lot of um, cables that you need to connect to the receiver uh, but it's not it's not too difficult you know once you go into clean flight you can set up the configuration of these different ones you, you can pin them just about to any of these uh, slots and then go into clean flight to set up which one is pitch roll yaw whatever so it's not that difficult um let's see what else 850 milliamp per hour 3 3s battery on here uh, i believe it's 30c uh doesn't come with a camera platform so i've attached my own uh i just velcroed it on there folks my own 808 keychain camera uh other things about this uh that's about it a little micro quadcopter or mini size quadcopter with tri-blade props uh, meant for um, racing but relatively close in racing so i got a feeling this is probably more for uh, new entry level fpv flyers not more experienced flyers because i don't think this will have the punch with those 12 amp escs that we'll see with other quadcopters let's go over the transmitter real quick before we go into a flight um, the way this came hooked up in clean flight, uh, it was, there was, nothing was assigned to the switches, which means if we would have flown directly out of clean flight without uh, going into clean flight, we'd only have acro mode available. But I went in there and easily selected angle mode for switch C up, uh, switch C center position, horizon mode, and nothing assigned in switch C position three, so that'll be our acro mode. So that, that was the only changes I made to this out of the box. So we're going to be flying this more or less um, how it would fly out of the box. <laughs> ready to fly, as they say, folks. Almost ready to fly. The only thing I did to it was put on this transceiver. That's the other thing I did in clean flight. I set up the, uh, the um, sequence of these cables uh, properly so that they would work with this quadcopter. So let's go for a flight of the P-130 Battler and see how it flies. Hope you enjoy this flight. 
Stopping recording, starting recording, making sure it's recording. Okay, we should be good to go. Okay, to arm this quadcopter, you bring the position, throttle position down and to the right. And this doesn't enter into uh, idle at start. You gotta arm it first down and to the right and then give it a little throttle. Okay, we should be good to go. And notice that it pitches back when you give it throttle. So let's get to the air. Okay, once it's in the air, it, it, it sort of levels out a bit. Let's give it a little trim. Yeah, forget the trim. Let's just go for a flight. Let's <laughs> see how it flies. Again, right now I am in angle mode. And before we fly any further, one thing I wanted to do, which I forgot to do, let's bring it back. is turn on my timer. <laughs> this is a tiny little battery. Hold on, folks. Okay, three minutes I'm going to give it. One, two, three. Starting the timer back up. Timer running. So, and away we go. I got to arm it again. Gosh darn it. Let's go up and fly it around a bit. Feels kind of heavy right now, I'll tell you that. And the little battler. How about the punch on this? Oh, that's full throttle, folks. There ain't no punch. <laughs> so right now, I'll tell you, it's not a lot of power. As expected. We're getting close. We'll just fly it around nice and close. How about speed? Well, it picks up speed as, as you go out across the desert. As, if you let it accelerate slowly, it'll, it'll fly fast. It's just that it's not going to accelerate to that speed in a very short time. So there's no acceleration, uh, main high speed acceleration, but it can fly fast. Like right now, I'm flying fast. But, again, it requires a lot of land to get it up to speed. Let's try uh, headless mode, or not headless mode, um, what do you call it, um, horizon. Can I flip it? Probably not. <laughs> so don't try flipping this, folks. <laughs> it won't, doesn't like to be flipped. It doesn't have the oomph needed to do a flip. So let's put that, let's stop the camera right there and restart it. And let's see how this can take a beating. <laughs> can it take a beating? Put the ca camera back on again. And inspecting it real quick. Put this right there. Camera's recording. Let's see, did it take a beating? Will it start back up again? I'm going to angle mode this time. Oh, no, it didn't take that beating very well. What's wrong here, folks? We lost the landing pad, and I got dirt in this motor. Hold on, folks, let me unplug the battery. Okay, I got that dirt out of that motor. The way I do it normally is I flip it upside down and I'll spin it by hand to make sure that there's no resistance. Hopefully it'll still run. We're gonna give it another shot here, folks. It banged on this particular uh, leg right here. I lost this pad, but I found it and pre pressed it back into place. So I got all the landing pads. Hopefully this will start up again. So let's see if it will start up. And if so, I'll get one more minute of flight out of it and we'll call it quits. So <laughs> let's do it, folks. Good luck here. Uh, transmitter is on. And plugging in the battery. And letting the ESCs warm up. And starting the quadcopter, hopefully. And giving it throttle. There we go. By the way, is this recording? No, it is not. <laughs> Turn on my 808 keychain camera. Hit recording. Arm it again. Give it a little throttle, starting the timer. And we'll go out for one more minute. Let's see if it flies. Oh, it still flies. So, warning folks, do not even try to do flips with this. <laughs> it don't like them. It doesn't like to go inverted. Is 
very, very docile flyer, somewhat docile. I guess this is more meant for uh, entry level, what, what's that noise there? I want to make sure it's not hitting any of my wires. Hold on. Yep, it might be just tipping against this wire here. That's another thing about this quadcopter, folks. You gotta watch your wiring. Easily gets in the way. Going back up. Okay, let's just fly it around. There goes my last minute timer. And it's starting to get sluggish too, so I got a feeling we don't got much more power. So we'll, we'll just keep it in close here, like you see it. This is its max yaw rate. <laughs> Not much. <laughs> so, um, yeah, this might have potential if it's tuned up a bit. Out of the box, it's not really exciting. <laughs> but it's interesting, I'll give you that. One more flight around the desert and we'll call it quits. And I think we should call it quits here. Because I don't know when that battery's gonna die. It's, it's a tiny battery. <laughs> the battler! Just, I don't know about it battling anybody, but it's an entry level uh, FPV flyer. That's what it is, folks. Just keep it in mind. If, if you keep that in mind, it's nothing more, nothing less, then yeah, it's okay. And there's its battery. Oh, it lands itself when its battery gets low. <laughs> so. That's the flight of the battler. Let me unplug that battery. And stop the camera. Make sure I got that video. And turn off my 808. So, oh no. Um, what did we learn today? Well, you know, it just doesn't have a lot of oomph. Um, it's not meant to have a lot of oomph. This again is an entry level quadcopter for uh, new FPV uh, flyers. Uh, with that in mind, yeah, I guess it is okay for that purpose. Uh, what other thing did we learn today? Yeah, it's crash resistant. I smacked it into the ground pretty good there. Um, it came out of that smiling, not, not a crack on it. It seems to be uh, pretty good. Um, what other thing I learned? Since it doesn't have a lot of oomph, don't go invert it with it. It's, <laughs> it's not going to happen, folks. You go, try to go invert it, you're going to smack into the ground, so keep that in mind. So that's the battler from JJR Pro. Hope you enjoyed this flight. This is Quadcopter 101, signing out.